Hey guys, this is going to be a little bit of a long video, but uh, I went I went and did some uh, shopping, so I have another big haul uh, to show you guys. So, so let's go ahead and get started. I found lots of cool stuff, some some stuff that I did not anticipate finding, and definitely checked out a, a couple of cool stores that I've never been to before, and found some really awesome cool stuff. Uh, so, uh, so let's go ahead and get started. First off. Let's we'll start with the monster trucks. I was mainly after Monster Jam monster trucks, but I didn't find as many of those as I was hoping to, but I did find a few. I got Sergeant Smash with the small hubs. Pretty cool. And I got uh, Brutus. The Sergeant Smash is the small hubs version with a metal base. The Brutus uh, it has a plastic base, uh, so it's a, a newer one. A slightly newer one and then the shocker is a old school metal base which was the best condition one out of all of them i had to rebend the axles on on these trucks uh to get them back to straight so that they can roll uh better so i picked up shocker as well a metal uh the most pristine metal base truck that i picked up in this lot and most pristine thing i picked up today i think and then we got scarlet bandit I was thinking about getting another version of Scarlet Bandit online, like the Undercovers version from a long time ago, but I figured, since these trucks are so hard to find and they're so expensive to get online, I figured I'll just probably, I think it's probably smart just to save money, uh, because these ones, these three here were only $2 each, so I figured I better just save money and not spend a bunch of money online on eBay to get the undercovers version, even though I personally like that one better. But, but to be honest, I like the Tampo scheme of the newer Scarlet Bandits better uh, with this purple version. I do like the pink, the bright pink version that came out too, but to be honest, I think this is a better choice for me anyways. Uh, I got, they still roll a little bit wobbly. The axles and the wheels are a little bit wobbly, but, but I'm not complaining nonetheless. As long as they roll straight and they make it down the track and I can race them, that's all that matters. Also a plastic base, base truck as well. Uh, as you can see on the bottom because of the, the little grooves right here and right there. That lets you know it's a plastic base truck. And then if you look right here where it's all flat on the bottom, that lets you know it's a metal base truck. So that's how you can tell. Metal base and plastic base. From looking at the bottom right there so very cool nonetheless didn't find as many as I was hoping for but I at least found a few to add to my collection and let's get on to the cars I found the Kenworth T2000 uh, semi truck very cool and you got the GMC Hummer EV which I was never able to find in stores in my area. I found some moving parts, but I just never end up end up finding the finding this one at all. Hopefully, I can maybe get that Lexus LX when it comes out, but we'll see. And we got the 1964 Lincoln Continental, a old one. I'm very much into the old school American luxury cars and the newer ones and the newer ones too, especially Lincolns. 2000 first editions Lincoln Continental. Very cool. Oh, plain white with the red interior. Very cool. And then we got the Batman versus Superman twin mill. Uh, Hot Wheels actually made this car in real life. I think there's some YouTube videos uh, on this uh, particular version of twin mill. Uh, this is one of, I think, like three different versions of twin mill that they actually built in real life. Uh, that they bring out during the Hot Wheels Legends Tour every year in El Segundo and, and all around the United States as well. If you see my Legends Tour video, uh, you will get to see some of the Hot Wheels. But unfortunately, uh, I was not able to see this car there, the Twin Mill, uh, when I went to the Legends Tour. It wasn't there, but the Bone Shaker and a few of the other iconic Hot Wheels castings were there. Like the Dior 2 and the Gas Monkey Corvette and the... Uh, and the uh, Hot Wheels Camaros were there, but no Twin Mill, unfortunately, and no Baja truck, which is my absolute favorite casting of all time. So all that stuff you have to go 
to El Segundo for for the Legends Tour. But they do actually have this car in this color scheme in real life. I've seen videos of it on YouTube. I'm sure you'll be able to find some YouTube videos of this uh, version of this car in, in real life. Uh, I'm not sure if the real version is gray like this one or if it's like a navy blue or black uh, uh, with the Superman and Batman color schemes. But very cool nonetheless. A very nice twin mail to add in my collection. And then... This is the holy jewel right here of the whole haul for me. Aside from a couple of other surprising things, which I will show you. We've got the Maserati MC-12. I've been looking for one of these for months. And I've seen a couple of them, but I didn't really want to pay the $20, $30, $40 just to get this car. And I surprisingly stumbled upon getting this over at uh, Sidekick Toys and Collectibles. Uh, a little... uh. Uh, a little uh, toy store, a little uh, die-cast toy store that's got tons and tons of Hot Wheels. Like boxes and boxes and boxes full of Hot Wheels. Uh, and I somehow stumbled upon this car. I was I was so in shock when I found it. I was like, oh my gosh, no way. I, I, couldn't, believe, I couldn't believe that I actually found this car. I've been looking for it for months, and I finally found it. Same with the Oscar Mayer Rear Mobile I found last year. I was super, super stoked to find that. I've been looking for that for months as well, and I found it last year. And this year, I finally found the Maserati MC-12. And there's another casting I'm looking for, the Honda Element. If I can find one of those, either that or a silver Dodge Dakota uh, from Maisto, uh, and maybe a... Uh, uh, what is that truck called? Uh, hold up, let me think of the name. Okay, the other truck that I was trying to think of off the top of my head was Rolling Thunder. I bright the dark red Rolling Thunder semi truck. If anyone has those three castings, I would love to get those. Those are like my top three castings I am looking for. Is the Rolling Thunder semi truck, a silver Maisto Dodge Dakota. And a and a orange or black Honda Element for a Maisto. If anyone has those cars, I want them in my collection. But I was able to check one big one off my list, and that was this car right here. This was like top of my list to get out of all those cars. The Maserati MC12. I got the Quadraporte. I got the Ghibli. I just uh, I don't have a Gran Turismo, but I don't know if Hot Wheels will ever make Gran Turismo. But if they do, that would be cool. But but I love the MC12. I love the real-life car since it's super rare. It shares the platform with the Enzo Ferrari uh, as well. But yeah, anyways, let's get on with the other cars. I found the Transformers Bumblebee uh, Camaro from Hasbro. And then Chevrolet Tahoe from Hot Wheels. With the police livery, Baja Breaker van, and the Alvin and the Chipmunks GMC Savannah panel van, and the uh, Bad Mudder first edition, Toyota off road truck, Baja trophy truck. We got the McDonald's Cadillac Eldorado or Series 62, and then two Audi Avis Quattros. This is the Matchbox one, this brighter one. And then the uh, the red one is the Hot Wheels version. Very cool. Nice engine detail on the Matchbox one. Very cool variations. Got the Mini Cooper. I love this particular version with the, the blue, the tampos, and the, the wheels just look super nice on it. And then the uh, Honda S2000 from Maisto. And then we got some NASCAR, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Kyle Petty number 44. I got a rubber tire version of the Kyle Petty number 44 car a couple of, a couple of years ago, but uh, I wanted the plastic tire version too. And besides, the Kyle Petty car is really cool too. So I'm happy to find that one. The DeWalt number 17, the Chevy Stalker right here, the black one. Spider-Man black wall car. 
and then a Tomica Cadillac Fleetwood Brome with, if I can get them open, with opening doors. Very cool. Don't see that on die-cast cars anymore. And then we got the number 19 Pennzoil stock truck. Stock car truck. Number 97 Sharpie. Number 42 Gain. Ty Dillon. And the 47 Kroger Irish Spring. And then the and then the 57 Albertsons car. And then the red, white, and blue uh, proud to be an American car. Very cool. Number 40. And last but not least, we have probably my favorite, favorite some of my favorite, favorite finds, my most unexpected finds, I should say, I found today was some of my favorite sports team. I picked up a Carolina Panthers mask. Even though most people don't wear masks anymore, I still wear them just because of safety reasons. Because I don't want to get COVID again. I got COVID once earlier after my trip from Italy, or during my trip in Italy, unfortunately. But So I still always try and be safe and wear a mask, even though most people don't. But anyways, I picked up a very cool Cam Newton uh, figure as well, so... I'm getting all prepared for the NFL season. I was really hoping to find a a couple of Panthers t-shirts because I got rid of a couple of them, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, So I was hoping to find a new Keep Pounding shirt as well as a, a J.C. Horn shirt and a new uh, logo t-shirt with the Panthers logo and the writing as well. But, yeah, even if it's on my uh, plush panther, I picked up this little helmet as well. A little mini helmet. Very, very cool and awesome. So, that's pretty cool, but anyways, that is the haul. I got all this stuff at, uh, at, a, few at a few different antique stores. Uh, one of them, which uh, I was able to get these three trucks at, and some of these other NASCARs and some of these other cars, and this pan and the Panther stuff came from the Lilypad Antiques and Collectibles uh, store. Uh, the guy that owns the place actually has a YouTube channel and an Instagram, I think, as well. Uh, as well, but here's the the card. Uh, if you ever if you're ever in the area, I'd highly recommend. If you're a toy enthusiast, if you love Hot Wheels, if you love monster trucks, toy cars, or or stuffed animals, or uh, McDonald's toys, or if you're into any or anything sports related, he's got he's got all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, or kids toys as well, if you have a son or daughter or anything like that. Uh, this is a great place to find cool toys like this, but, but yeah, this is, uh, it, uh, and that's his YouTube channel, um, uh, uh, Memory Lane Toys, if you want to, if you want to follow him. He's got all kinds of cool stuff, uh, over at this place in downtown Tacoma. Uh, very, very awesome guy, uh, as well. So I was very, very glad I was able to check out this place. But yeah, he also has an eBay store as well, uh, which I think is uh, Memory Lane Toys as well. Uh, and on YouTube and Instagram, uh, like I mentioned. But yeah, very, very cool. Highly, highly recommended if you love toys. Uh, uh, or sports the uh, sports stuff, or just antiques as well. 
I highly recommend that place if you live near Tacoma or you live in the northwest, in northwestern Washington. I highly recommend that place. But anyways, thanks for watching, everyone, and stay safe out there. That is the haul. And I also want to give a big shout out to my grandmother and my aunt uh, as well for having a very, very fun time with me. Love, love, love you guys. I cannot thank you enough on how thankful I am to have you guys and uh, and have this awesome, awesome haul and trip. So yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you so much to the world, uh, to them, uh, as well as everyone, everybody I met today uh, here at these stores. Uh, but uh, anyways... Thanks for watching and stay safe out there, everyone.